Hey, welcome to another video with Blocks Builder. And in this video, we're going to look at how we can animate a uh, background image in a hero block. And this question was on the forum, and there was some success. And uh, mostly what happened when they animated the image is the entire block got animated. All the um, assets like our, our logo, our navigation, our text, our, our call to action buttons. And it really isn't the desired effect that we're after. So what I'm going to show you is how do we uh, how do we structure our block so that we can animate just the background image and have all these elements static. And it's really straightforward. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove this temporary class I've got here that was uh, showing that animation. And um, the next thing I'm going to do is completely remove the image from the block. So we're not going to actually have our image on the block. We're going to create a pseudo element and that is going to handle our image and also where we're going to target our animation. So I'm going to give our hero block a class called hero. And with that labeled hero, we can now make our hero pseudo element. So we come to our class manager, create a new class hero. And we're going to call that before. And there we have our new element. So with that open in the class editor, I'm going to come to the background tab here and I'm going to drag in our background image. And we can see it there in the image well, but we do not yet see it on our canvas and but we will shortly once we change some more settings. A couple of other the settings that I want to change while we're in the background tab is we want to change the size from length to cover. That's an important one. It also makes this whole uh, background image responsive. And um, you can change the position of the image as well. And I'm just going to choose center center. And depending on the dimensions of your image, uh, this is a very handy option. The next option we're going to change is under our position tab here. And remember, we're in our pseudo element. Um, I'm going to choose the position of absolute and then I'm going to set uh, the edge for the top left right and bottom as zero and when we assign those our image will reappear that's it we have our background image now it's not animated just yet if we go and preview that it looks like a normal hero block but now because our image is on a pseudo element we can target that element for the animation and have it move and all these other elements remain the same they, they, they remain static so we're going to do that in the page header we're going to write some uh, very simple css it's uh, um, to create a css animation okay so i'm going to use this option here to go to our page header and in our page header here i've already got our style tags and i'm going to add the class hero and I want, oh, uh, excuse me, I've got a brand new keyboard that I've only had a couple of hours and my fingers are still finding it. So we've got hero and we want the um, pseudo element, so before, and then we want some curly brackets. And in here, uh, we're going to put animation name. I'm just going to call the name of our animation hero, keep it simple. And we want to set the duration of our animation, so we're going to put animation duration and let's make it eight seconds so we just put 8s for that and that's all we need to add to our pseudo element for our um, classes but now we need to define the actual animation itself and we can do that with a thing called at keyframes and then we add the name of our animation which was called hero and then curly brackets now, whoop, curly brackets. Now within these curly brackets, we're gonna define a from style and a to style. Now I'm just spacing this out to make it a little bit easier for you to read. Um, and there's different ways you can do this with the CSS animation. You can look online for lots of uh, guides on how to do this. We could define percentages here. We could have uh, zero to 100%. Uh, but in this one, we just need a from and a to. And what we're going to do is we're going to use scaling on the image. So we're going to set a transform and then scale and brackets. And inside those brackets, we're going to set the scale. And so we want our image to be bigger 
and then our image to go smaller at the end of the animation. So we're going to set our scale at 1.4 for our starting point and our end point. We're going to set that as 1. Right, so we've got here our, our pseudo element, our animation name, animation duration, and then we've defined our animation here, our from and our to. So we're scaling the background image from 1.4 to 1. And if we preview that, we now get our animated background and all our other elements in our block are staying static. Awesome. Now, there will be one more thing that we need to fix here. If I go and preview this again and I scroll down, you'll see that our because we've scaled our image, it's now bigger than the hero image and it's going across other parts of our website. I'll let me show you that again. There you go. See, it's overshooting. So the way we fix that is we go back here to our hero block. We go to our hero class, not our pseudo element. And under the position tab, we set our overflow to hidden. And what that means is because our image is bigger than the, the space, anything outside of the hero is actually going to be hidden and not seen. So let's go and look at that now and scroll down and we'll see that our image is contained within a hero block. Right. That's it. That is how easy it is to build an animated hero background image. Okay. Have a fantastic day.